Hey YouTube fam, so I am back and I wanted to celebrate. Today is December 22nd and it is my six month anniversary. My anniversary on Bag Band Island. So I'm so excited. Um, ignore my <laughs> basket here. It's clean clothes, but I just haven't folded it. Like I'm good at, you know, cleaning and doing laundry but I hate folding them and putting them away but it's there and I gotta get it done so ignore it um so yeah today makes December 22nd make it six months um June 22nd was the last time I made a purchase and it was the 1941 clutches during coach's summer semi-annual sale um so since then I haven't purchased anything um bag related um, not a bag, not a clutch, not a small leather good, not a bag charm. So I completely eliminated anything in relation to bags. So I really, really wanted to focus on other things. Um, not only my health, not that there was anything alarmingly glaring wrong with my health. Um, my labs have always been great. Um, but how I felt and how I look, I wanted to change. And I had some goals um, of getting back on the bodybuilding stage. So, um, yeah. So I wanted to focus on that. And I also had, I wanted to do other things. I pick up new hobbies and I started doing more focusing and helping the hubby with our um, dog training and so forth. And I want to compete with our um, one-year-old female that we have, Belgian Shepherd, what they call Belgian Malinois. Um next year next fall so i got into that um yeah just been amazing so since the six month anniversary um today i did purchase an item okay um and it is a small leather good but i made i already so it was like two weeks ago or three weeks ago i started making a wish list of bags i would want and all that stuff and i was like let me just wait till january 1st like make it like just this full six months into a new year and purchase an item but i'm like you know it's june 20 i mean it's december 22nd and it's six months and that was my goal to make it six months and i did so i just purchased a small leather good and um i sold um my red 1941 clutch so i can get this item and it has to do with my unicorn bags you know my space bro so i had that um red 1941 clutch to go with it so i was like let me just get an item that's gonna continue just finish dressing up what i have so i got the um nassau 1941 clutch that goes with this that came out with this um collection the collab collection with coach so i can't wait for that to come in i'll show you guys that um so that's it that's all i purchased um i was about to like i don't have no desire so to speak to be like i want this bag i want this bag and i'm like maybe i could since i made it to six months and i got this small leather good to go with what i already have um let me you know i was like can I go another six months? So I'm just, it's, it's, it's spinning in my head, you know, thinking I haven't made the commitment or announcement yet, but I'm like, but the urge of like, yeah, now I'm going to be like, you know, buying bags and stuff and no. So I'm like, I was able to go six months without purchasing an item. Actually did a lot of purges, um, down to six bags now, which I showed a quick clip, um, a few weeks ago of what I was bringing into 2020. So, um, of course my unicorn bag is, <laughs> did not, will not ever make the cut. It's just this <laughs> and my holy girl, those two for sure will never make the cut. They will never be purged. <laughs> they will be passed down. Like my niece already claimed this one. So, you know, she's, um, 10 years old now. So she, she's getting this one and holy grail. I don't know. Maybe it'll be buried with me or something. <laughs> But we're not claiming that. I'm believing until I'm 100 years old. <laughs> okay. So, anywho. Um, so, I'm so excited. And I can't wait to share the 1941 clutch. So, some things that I've accomplished. Like, I was saying my health. Um, like, my labs have always been great. Like, my last annual, which was in... Was it in June or something like that? And my nurse practitioner was like, all right, see you next year. Because, like, my cholesterol is always great. My HDL is up, so that's good. My LDL is always low. Uh, actually, my blood pressure is actually tend to run low. Um, so, I actually have to make sure, not make sure, but, you know, 
I don't do no salt diet or low salt diet. I just do regular. So sometimes I have to put salt in my um in my water. So I use the pink Himalayan salt um, that's taken um, for the mountains of Pakistan. So it has really great nutrients and um, trace elements in there. So I use that. Um, and I think the low blood pressure thing comes from my conditioning, my cardio condition from running marathons. Um, yeah, so I used to run marathons and like <laughs> I got into running and then I switched over to bodybuilding. So my cardio condition is really great. So yeah. Okay, so my lives are always great, but I just didn't like the way I felt, my energy-wise. Um, you know, all of a sudden developing asthma and being sensitive to certain things. And I was like, I need to be more outdoors now because all of a sudden, because I'm being more indoors, working from home or working where I have Wi-Fi. So I've been like, I'm doing a lot of staying indoors. So I was like, I need to go out. I need to be exposed to the allergens and all that stuff. So... I did that, so I have not used my rescue inhaler. I have not used my um, my steroids inhaler, so I'm really excited about that. So it's been at least four months since I have not used either or. Um, and usually, when I the when I was diagnosed with the asthma was last fall because it was with the um, what was it called with the change in the weather and the follies and the trees dying and stuff. There was like grass mold and stuff that happens that's naturally that I had got allergic to but I went through this fall season with no attacks and haven't had to take any steroids inhalers so that's all due to focusing on my health and being more active and going outdoors and um, focusing on my nutrition so in the past six months I have lost 22 pounds y'all 22 pounds so I'm so excited um, I'll show a clip right here of some changes that's happened All right, so you saw that, so I'm excited. Um, and also another change that's happened is the last seven days, I decided, well, I did, um, last weekend I did a three-day fast, um, water fast, and it was really great. It was, it was amazing. It brought so much clarity and spiritually was amazing, okay? Um, so I decided to transition into a plant-based um dietary regimen and yeah i was like can i do that because i'm a you know hardcore meat eater carnivore like i love my steak i love my beef ribs i love my um my chicken i love my goat you know I'm, my family's from haiti so from the caribbean so it was like what you know i, I can't let those things go and i realized that because that was my third round of doing a three-day fast since my um six months and doing every time after the fast i feel good i feel clear i'm not i'm less inflamed and um then i would go back into my nutrition like still eating clean like i had my my vegetables my protein and stuff like that but i always find that my body would get a little bit more inflamed like i didn't look as good or i didn't feel as good too because the clarity wasn't there so this third round i was like you know what let me try this plant-based dietary regimen vegan veganism so you know and i was like you know what melissa just remove your being open-minded to trying things and over the past six months i've been trying stuff with my nutrition um finding what works or what i would be able to maintain long term so i did like um, low carb for four week challenge lost it with that then i did carb cycling and then i did um i did um a moderate carb and moderate fat with no moderate carb moderate fat and high protein and i really liked how my body responded and look in the gym but um but then again i felt like the inflammation it just i still was not as how I felt when I was at the, when I would do those three day fasts. So this third round last week and I did, I was like, okay, let me try plant plant based, and it's been amazing, y'all. It's I've completed seven days. I was going to like I was just going to do fourteen days, you know, the vegan challenge, you know, before going into the year twenty twenty, and um, it's been amazing, so amazing. My face is clear, like like I don't have no makeup on, like it's just amazing. Um, 
it's amazing okay and just within one week I lost six pounds um, and I feel like I'm still I'm not even trying it's so easy um, I'll share some meal um, pictures of stuff that I've been eating right here All right, so it's been very filling um, and coming from that three day water fast, my taste buds is more alive. So I could taste everything like the mushrooms. Oh, so good. The chickpeas. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like I mean, my body is loving it. Like, um, well, it's just your GI tract. You know, when you go to the restroom, everything is just looking great. You know, look how I always tell my mem I was gonna say my members like when I was doing case management like look at your urine color you you know looking you know look at you know when you go to the bathroom how does it look and stuff you, it tells you how your GI, tr GI tract is working especially with this high incidence of colon cancer it's really you know alarming about what are we what we are eating and so forth um, and I've had a lot of my members when I was doing case management was just getting newly diagnosed with colon cancer and my best friend is a um, is a general surgeon and she focused on colon um, doing colonectomies and um, and she was saying like there's a high incident of, of so much colon cancer and especially in young people so you know we're in our 30s and late 20s you know people are dying from colon cancer and it's really what we're eating okay enough off the preaching but I just want to say like I just come with me being off Bad Band Island, I was exploring stuff. I was reading books. I was interacting more with my family members. I was focusing on my nutrition. I was picking up a new hobby. Instead of scrolling looking for a bag or looking for the next fix, I was finding my fix and other avenues in my life that was more beneficial. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. So, I'm really loving this vegan thing. And... I have decided to go vegan. Yeah, my body, I feel so much better. I feel so clear. Um, my mental clarity is just, oh, the energy I'm attracting is, oh, it's just amazing. So in celebration, I have my kombucha tea. Oh yeah, and I, I haven't had coffee, y'all. I'm a huge caffeine addict. Usually I need my coffee and it's been 10 days with no coffee. Yeah, I have an espresso machine, everything. I have an espresso section in my kitchen, and I haven't had it. Let's see if we can get this thing to show. Yeah, it's called Health Egg Kombucha, and it's ginger lemon, and it is vegan. I've been using this the past six months, um, and it has all this good stuff. Let me see if it's going to focus with all this stuff. But I'll read it to you guys. It has, It is organic. It is certified vegan, gluten-free. Um, certified raw. The ingredients is filtered water, kombucha culture, yeast and bacteria cultures, which is great for your gut. Um, organic black tea, which I guess it has some caffeine in there, and green tea, um, organic green tea, and organic evaporated cane juice. So, you know, none of that fructose, high corn syrup, all this bull crap, artificial crap. <laughs> um, it has cold pressed organic ginger juice and cold pressed organic lemon juice and it's amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in my glass that my bestie got me i was her matron of honor last year for her wedding so i'm gonna pour this sucker in here and celebrate with you guys on my bag band island i just need a little bit oh it's almost done let me just finish it usually this takes me like four servings i am able to enjoy this so instead of having wine yeah, with all the nitrates and all that stuff, I have this, and it's amazing. It's so good. So good, y'all. So good. So, happy Bad Band Island to me, and I am rocking my Space Rogue. Um, I just love it. Like, I always say that the reason it, I don't know, only attracted to me, it attracted me. Oh, and I have my journal in here. Oh my gosh, what I start, what I wrote in the beginning of the year, it has manifested, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, 
my career wise and all that stuff it has manifested and it's kind of like crazy um not crazy but you know we <laughs> when you discover something and you just want to share it's like when you manifest when you say i am this it, it really means it so i don't say like now I'm changing my verbiage. Like, I don't say I'm a handbag ha addict, you know, because then I'm going to be a handbag addict, right? So I say I'm a handbag lover. So it's a different thought process. So I don't, it doesn't attract like, oh my gosh, I see a bag. I got to have it. You know what I'm saying? So just, I'm just a handbag lover. So, um, all these, I, I really, you know, um, encourage you if you don't journal, um, to do so and, um, pay attention to your dreams. Like as soon as you wake up write them i don't know it's just so much stuff amazing stuff that's happening guys i wish i can share i don't know if you guys are interested because it's a bad channel <laughs> so let's see like there's this thing i was reading in here and the coach 1941 i was like why am i attracted to this bag so much and like i was like when i that was this bag is what really brought me away from doing it i was like on a search for this i'm like oh and you know i'm being born and raised in Miami and Florida, you know, right there with Nassau. So it says here on this, that came with a booklet with this, it says, inspired by American dreamers, Coach launches its very own space adventure with this limited edition capsule collection. Featuring Nassau inspired logos, Apollo rockets, and Rexy the Coach Diner, it's dedicated to explorers and fearless travelers who believe that anything is possible. Y'all, every time I said, I didn't even know that's what this thing said. I just like, this always meant to me like anything is possible. And I'm like, the other day I was like, just wanted to see, you know, just reading the stuff and I had, and I was like, oh, that's why it's attracted to me. Like, cause this is what it means. Cause I was like, this means to me like anything is possible. You speak it to the universe and then it manifests. You just have to keep a clear vision, y'all. Keep a clear vision. So yeah, that's my bag band island anniversary. This was a really chatty video. I don't know if, <laughs> if I was able to stay on track of what I wanted to touch base, but you know, happy anniversary, y'all. Toasting to y'all, and um, I hope you guys have a marvelous Sunday. Um, you only have one full week left of 2019 and a half the following week, and we're gonna be rocking in 2020, y'all. All right, bye, y'all.